Hello everyone and welcome back to today. I'm doing a commentary um, with some Battlefield 4 gameplay in the background. It's a rush on Siege of Shanghai. And I did pretty well. I started off very badly. The team started off very, very badly. But um, we did manage to pull it back. And yeah, we're going to see how that goes. So um, the topic of today is which class should you start first with? Um, if you got the game today, maybe tomorrow, maybe in, a, in the next week or in the next month, I don't know when you're going to get it, but which class should you start first with? So um, you have four classes of course, you have the engineering class, the medic class, the um, support class and also the um, recon class. So um, I'll, I'll break down every class a bit and tell you which starter items you get and what is actually the best at the end to start with. So um, we'll start with the medikit. Um, the assault kit, it's assault now, it's not medic anymore. Um, it's assault. Um, the assault class, um, the starter gun is an AK 12 and it's a pretty, pretty decent gun. I mean, um, it, the thing is with the gun, it's pretty easy to manage. Um, it does feel good in your hands. Um, the recoil is okay, it's moderate. Um, it's not that it's a laser beam or so, but um, it's a pretty, pretty decent gun, although it has. Um, it has maybe a bit too um, low amounts of damage, so it's not the best, but for a start again, um, it's pretty okay. Um, like you're seeing, I just got killed by an AK-12. It's a pretty decent gun, but the fact is with this class, uh, you have a medic kit, so that's going to give you lots of XP if you heal people. And also, um, you have a grenade launcher, which is also pretty handy. And the uh, second gun is actually a Scar H, which is a pretty, pretty, um, pretty... Um, Good gun. It has loads of damage. It's, it, it's. I think it's one of the most damaged um, assault rifle, but it's a bit um, difficult to handle because it has quite a lot of recoil actually. But if you do, if you do, uh, if you have, if you have played Battlefield 3, you should be fine with starting with the assault class because when you have that gun, you're going to be rocking and getting a loads of kills and loads of. Um, good score, so I would adv advise to start with uh, with assault class, but there, there's still one class that I prefer to start with. So um, now we have the engineering class. That's the second class. Um, the thing is, this was my favorite, um, not my my least favorite, um, my my least favorite class of them all, and that's mainly because of the starter weapon. The starter weapon is pretty pretty shocking. It's it's very bad. Um, it has. From close, it's it's very good because it's a submachine gun, so that's that's normal. But if you are like from 50 meters away, you're never going to be able to kill your opponent first, and definitely not when they um, actually have a when they actually have an assault rifle. You just lost, and you you're not going to get much kills, uh, many kills, of course. Um, but um, the thing is, the, the, there are some things that are pretty good about the gun. Uh, not the gun, the class. It's that you have a uh, some kind of a bazooka, which actually kind of locks on 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 uh, on, on cars and and LAVs and and all those um, all those uh, tank uh, tankish. Uh, vehicles, so that is pretty good. It's going to uh, give you loads of XP, but um, the gun is just not good enough for me. So I actually almost never played with the with the engineering class just because the gun is very very badly. But I know if you play a little bit further, you're going to unlock a um, don't know the name anymore, but it's a pretty pretty good gun. I got killed quite a lot of times by it. Um, so it is worth um, to use the class, but um, I would not advise you to start with it. Maybe when you are a bit better at the game, it's it's a good class, but um, from the beginning I would not advise you to use it. Um, then we have the support class, which are LMGs of course, and the start LMGs, uh, LMG is very very good. Um, this is my class that I would advise you guys to start with. I'm um, just I didn't start with it. I start with the assaults, and I'm pretty far in the assaults actually. I mean, I I already have like six or seven guns, so I know what I'm talking about. But uh, um, support is very. Those guns are like laser beams, so they are very easy to handle. They don't have a lot of recoil, and they do have a lot of damage. So um, as if you're not really experienced in battlefield, um, this is definitely. Um, the right class to start with. Also, it gives ammo, and a lot of people are very quickly out of ammo, so you're going to get a lot of XP by giving people bullets. So I would highly, but highly suggest you start with a support kit. It's maybe 
um, the most easiest to easiest to handle and also um, the yeah it's just it's just the best class to start with um, and also it, uh, the weapons do get a lot better in the future so uh, the more weapons you unlock the weapons get a lot better but um, yeah that's then we have no that's not yet it we still have the weekend class that I have to break down a bit um, the weekend class is actually um, I would never advise on any game to start off with the sniper. The thing is, snipers, um, you really got, um, you really got to have the feel of the game to actually be able to snipe very well. I mean, um, you got to learn the sensitivity of the game, the feel of the game, how quick you can turn. Uh, your aim needs to be pinpoint when you're sniping. So, it's I would never advise you guys to go straight into a game and start with the sniper. That's um, I, I know there's a lot of people who are really experienced in sniping, so then I would advise to use a sniper. But if you're not experienced in it in Battlefield 3, uh, I would not suggest to start with that. I think you do have C4, so that's that's fun um, because there are loads of vehicles in this, in this game, so that's that's a good part of the game. But um, overall, I would just not suggest to start off with that kit. And uh, I would leave that uh, when you're minimum at uh, level 10 or higher. Um, and that's actually it. So, like I said, the assault is pretty good to start off with. The support, I would highly suggest to start off with. Um, the engineer is, is okay, um, but um, you're going to have difficult times from range with that gun. And also, the. Um, and the weekend I would just not suggest you do that. Um, also, um, how if you have the game, how have been you been feeling about the game? I, I've, I've, I've just been loving this game. Um, it's so much fun. I, I think it's such a good game. Um, it's so much better than Battlefield 3 in my opinion. Although the servers are a bit messed up and sometimes they do um, randomly just um, go off but um, I've experienced that less today so I think that's mainly because yesterday was the first launch day so that's probably why but it's a lot of fun and if you haven't picked it up already even though you're not a first person shooter guy I would still advise you to pick it up it's such an amazing game so let me know what uh, your feelings about this game in the comment section down below and also um, I'm, I have some tips ready um, that I'm going to upload today, tomorrow and um, day after tomorrow. So um, today there will be one about uh, um, a tip about getting a little bit more XP than usual. And also some, some other videos that will come tomorrow and the day after. So I hope you are excited. We are actually gaining subs. I got two subs in a day so I was, I was ecstatic. I was jumping, almost jumping out of my window. Um, but then I realized that I have to go and play Battlefield again. So I'm um, yeah, I'm, I'm ecstatic and I know you and I hope, I don't know, but I hope you guys keep supporting me. And that's basically going to be it. Um, actually the FAMAS is actually a assault rifle and it's a beast of a rifle. But like I said, I'm going to break down every weapon and every map in this game. Um, uh, break them all down. So I um, that's going to be something epic, but that won't happen in, in this week or next week. I just need to play the game so much more. Um, so much more than I have done now. I've, I think I played already 10 hours of it in game, so in game matches. So that's that's a lot in two days. That's the most I ever played. I'm actually in Division 1 in, in skill status and, and stuff. So if you want to do play with me, add me on. Um, at me on origin I will leave the link in the description uh, because I don't have anyone to play with right now because all my friends are on PS3 and I'm not going to play this game on PS3 because then it probably looks horrific so um, please add me please play with me uh, I'll give you my Skype that's probably also in the description um, really do that so I can play with you guys and that should be a loads of fun I can upload that you can come on my channel and yeah that's basically it so I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like if you did that helps me out a lot um, to get maybe more subs and also if you haven't subscribed already I would highly suggest you do so you're going to learn loads of things about Battlefield that you even didn't know before so that was actually it, bye.